All right, hey, shalom, shalom. shalom. First and foremost, we want to open up, give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who teach well, peace, and infinite salutations to the elect scattered abroad doing this work in truth and in sincerity, teaching the names of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, and prophesying against Mount Seir. Uh, we are the brothers from the Camp Company of Prophets uh, out here in Tampa, Florida. Coming at you with, uh, you know, just flowing in the spirit. You know, thought we'd just jump on camera real quick and, uh, you know, go, go into some of these scriptures, you know, various topics, you know, signs of the end. As, uh, what just happened yesterday, 7-13, while we was doing camp, this whole, uh, you know, assassination attempt of Donald Trump, which there's more holes in that story than Swiss cheese. As, as the days go on, more and more, you know, it's starting to look more and more like an act, something set up by the elite. But nonetheless, that we we know that we at the end of this thing, okay? America is done. This the city of confusion. This place is being broken down. All right, you want to touch and say anything? Oh well, yeah. You know we here in the um, you know the end times, man. And you know it's that whole thing that took place yesterday, which you know I'm speaking as a man. I believe there's something behind it. Either they gonna come with something, or I believe something was set up though behind that. But you know we almost out of here, man. Right. We, we, we did the lesson yesterday. Yeah. You know, the world is a stage. They had the Simpsons. It looked like an act. When you watch the video, it kind of looks like a damn movie, like a, a fucking, like it was a movie. Yeah, because that's... Guy, he, first, he, he holds his ear, he goes yeah. down, comes up, blood on his ear. Just... He's like, USA, USA. Right. Nobody's right. celebrating after they got shot, shot. man. Yeah, right. <laughs> it, it looked like a big old act, and it's all... Maybe it was to win votes, which we know is, is all bullshit. The voting is all bullshit anyways, but... Yeah. Hey... What are we going to do? We're going to watch as well as pray as the scriptures say. Okay, actually grab that real quick. Watch right. as well as pray. And then we'll get into 2nd Ezra 9, you know, because we in evil times, man. So you got to watch, be circumspect. Scriptures tell you be circumspect. Okay. And obviously you can't believe everything you see on the media. You know how the elites roll. All right. They do a lot of um, uh, uh, wicked things behind closed doors. Okay. Whenever you got it, you can read it. All right. Okay, because we in evil times, man. So supposed to be praying, watching, fasting. Okay, everything you can do. You got it? Is it in Matthew? Nah, let me see. Watch. Yeah, I guess that is it. You were right. Go ahead. All right, it's on Matthew 26 and 41. Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation mm -hmm. the spirit indeed is willing but the flesh is weak right so we're in a time of watching and praying and if i can see it one more time i got another i want to grab another one real quick um we, we in that time where you're supposed to be watching man okay uh yeah just like um you know which we gonna grab scripture says measure thou right time diligently in itself how are you doing that you know getting to the scriptures you know redeeming the times acknowledging you know who you are, who your power is, who your enemy. The, you know the times we in, and you know paying attention to what's going on. All right, if you seeing what's going on, you know you know we in the last days. You know we're not saying we gonna be out of here in a month. You know, you know Lord willing we out of here this year or whatever. But regardless, we here in the last days, man. Yeah, we got a major prophecy, which is what the mark of the beast, the mandatory, of the, mandatory. Yeah, yeah they're going, they gonna, and that's coming soon where they gonna usher this thing in. You know, they already got the the central bank digital currency the. They got the, the uh, what is it, digital public infrastructure. They got the narrow lane. They got the you narrow know, lane. Pay with your palm. Pay with and your palm, right? a lot of you right? camps, y'all quiet now, man. All right, that MOTB, the MOTB is here. It's just not made mandatory for everyone to take it, which that's going to come, man. But that thing is here. It's people using it right now as we speak. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, like the brother was just saying, too, uh, <laughs> going years back. It was like a big thing to to make fun of the apostles and the elders about teaching the market of beast. What was that? Uh, Zabak talking about chips and dip. You know, you got all these different scoffers, which I don't know if you got repented or not. But, you know, and we'll, we'll see when that prophecy comes, we're going to see the real from the fake. OK, we're going to see the real from the fake. But before it was all fun and games, make fun of the prophets, make fun of the men of the Lord. But now, like the brother said, everybody quiet. Nobody want to. You know, say nothing. I ain't got shit to say now. 
Ain't got shit to say, right? Go ahead, though. Right? First Peter 4 and 17, it says, But the end of all things is at hand, right? But ye, so like it, be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. Yeah, watch unto prayer, okay? The end of all things is at hand, which we know the end is gonna is talking about the end of an age, end of Esau's rulership, which is gonna end with uh, thermonuclear missiles destroying Mystery Babylon the Great, destroying America, okay? The very land that we stand on is gonna be on fire soon. That's what everything is leading up to, okay? Whether it comes this year, next year, whenever time it comes, and we know it's coming soon, it will happen, okay? Though it tarry, wait for it, all right? Uh, Go ahead and grab that, though it tarry. Yeah, I got all right, because, you know, the, the elder apostles, uh, starting with the elder apostle, been telling you about the destruction of America. We've been telling you about the MOTB. The MOTB. Jacob's trouble. Yeah, the elder. Famine of the word. Famine of the, all the prophecies from the elder apostles on down. Elder apostles going on damn near 40 years, longer than we've been alive, been telling you. So though it tarry, wait for it. We in that time now, all the prophecies are speaking, man. Like it tells you, and we're going to read 2nd Ezra 9, and the end is made manifest, man. The script, hey, all the scriptures are being made manifest now, man. Oh, yeah. It's being made plain, okay? But people still don't believe, which goes to show you the Lord is not dealing with everybody, bro. The Lord really is going to destroy most of the people on earth, okay? Yeah, and what is the um, scripture also says? Uh, faithfulness, you know, going to die now, faithfulness. All right, so regardless of how... Cause you got um that not in my lifetime vibration is heavy, especially on our people. You know, right. our Lord, our Lord ain't coming back, or or that's just in movies. Not Why in my people, lifetime. Yeah, not in my lifetime, nigga. It's gonna happen in your lifetime, man. Right. You could, it's gonna happen in our lifetime, man. All right. But if you, regardless, if you don't believe, so be it. The scripture also says, should the unbelief be with um without effect? So you think your opinion gonna stop the prophecies? You out of your fucking mind, man. Right. This is Habakkuk two and three. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. The vision, the prophecies, okay, which we've been, you know, telling you, which is the testimony of our Lord is what? The spirit, spirit of, of prophecy, prophecy, which is what a lot of these other camps, they don't have. They don't have the testimony of Yahweh Shah, man. That's why they don't go into prophecy. That's why, you know, they'll tell you about the law, the law, the law all day. But as soon as it comes to the prophecy of the mark of the beast, uh, you know, um, the lake of fire. They start botching the scriptures, going off, okay? Because they don't have the, the testimony. And the scriptures tell you, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it's because there's no light in them, man. So you got to have both, okay? But read it again. The vision is for an appointed time. The prophecies, a major prophecy that we always go into is the mark of the beast, man. Yep. The digital currency that's going to be uh, mandated soon, man. You're not going to be able to buy and sell. Right now, we in society, you know, I just put gas in my car today. You know, without the gas tank, you know, guess what? I paid. I pay with my phone. But soon it's gonna be okay. You're not gonna be able to pay unless you have a chip. Pay, swipe your hand, or you scan your forehead. The implement. Okay, and that's when we're gonna have to completely disconnect, bro. Everybody gonna be. You gonna be. You know, solely relying relying on your how about me? I was saying faith. That's when faith is gonna kick them kick in, man. Yeah, right? whoever this is, here, brethren, brethren are. That, um, that's when Isaiah 10 and 20 is going to come to play Where it um, says that um, they're going to stay upon the Lord Right Not the ones, you know, that smoke them, roughly paraphrasing We'll grab that next um, We'll grab that because that's that's, a, that's 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 exactly what's going to happen The men of the Lord, you, you sincere brothers, man Along with your families, your sincere women Ultimately, we're coming into a time where we're going to have to stay upon Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai yep. Going to be as pilgrims on earth, get ready to lose, okay? Get ready to be stripped of everything that you've, you've ever had, okay? And that's going to be the, you know, like the final countdown, so to say, or the final stretch. And he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And that's going to be a test of all of our patience. Everybody going to be tested, man. Yeah, you know, Jake bugging out now. Jake going back to the world now. Giving up, you know. Throwing in the towel. Throwing man. in the towel. Aim and look, bro. <laughs> you got food. You got water, you got access to YouTube and shit, and Jake already giving up, man. Jake already Ain't giving up. We're not seeing judgments in our face yet, man. Mm -hmm. Which we come into a time, hey, it's gonna be it's gonna be normal just to see somebody die. We're not gonna have food, water, etc. But you got Jake giving up already now, man. Would the game even start? Right. Go ahead. Habakkuk two and three for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Because it will surely come, it would not tarry. Yeah, and that word tarry means to be delayed. All right, so the vision 
you know, though it tarry, you know, we've been telling you about the mark of the beast for years. We've been telling you about the crash of the dollar, the, the Jacob's trouble, all this stuff, right? The famine and hearing the word, all, all the prophecies, the destruction of America, though it tarry, so it feels like it's delayed, ultimately it's not going to tarry because it's going to come in one day. One day we're going to wake up, it's going to be that day. Yeah. Okay, and then you're going to realize, damn, you know, that was it. You know, we're here now. Yeah. You know? The Lord has a, um, the Lord got a set time period and a date for everything, man. You know, the MOTV, you know, the nuclear missiles, and ultimately, you know, Yahweh shot returning. You know, we don't know, but if you're sincere, you, we want these things to happen now. Shit, we want a notification to pop up on our phone that the, the Mark of the Beast is now mandatory for everyone to take it. And that's when, that's when, that's when life really going to start, man. All right, but we understand prophecy and the scripture always goes into patience. And what is patience going to? Suffering. We got to suffer. All right, so even if we got to wait a week from now, five years from now, 10 years, 50 years, which I highly doubt we're going to be here for another 50 years with everything that's going on. But right. just saying for however long we got to suffer that. But at the end of the day, it's going to come. Okay, the Lord has a set time period when it's going to come man. and we definitely not going to be here for another yeah. 50 years man we we will be surprised if we see another two three years by the way everything yeah. is going by the speed all the prophecies that we see in taking place they can roll this microchip out this year man okay they can pull some funny shit they can do some crazy shit overnight something crazy can happen overnight bro just like what happened with the c19 that was that out shit of happened out of, out of nowhere boom 2020 it was like 20 at the end of 2019 i believe no, it was the beginning of 2020. 2020. I remember because Kobe had died. Right. I believe that was the day he was dying. They said that was the distraction. And then that right. shit just got, I kept, they kept hearing about a disease. Then, boom, school shutting down, you know, Done. jobs. And, you know, we never experienced no shit like that before, man. So yeah. that was the fuck. Lockdown. You got to wear a mask. And that's coming back too, man. Oh, you yeah. know, that was just, that was just, that was just show, that was a test run. You know, they was just getting their practice on, but they're going to come back harder, man. They're already talking about it. Yep. They were, they're already talking about another scamdemic, man. So in the midst of everything, bro, everything's going to hit at one time, bro. It's going to be hard, bro. This place is going to fall. And it can happen any day, bro. Just like, like I was saying with the C19, it came out of nowhere. Bro, this this the, the market of beasts can come out of nowhere. Oh, yeah. That's the times we in, bro. And when the, when the market of beasts comes out of nowhere, which it will come, <laughs> that's when you know, okay, bro, this is it. Okay? Shit about to get real. But it's really going to come out of nowhere, you know, for you people, man. Yeah. You know, for these people. Because, right. you know, us brethren, you know, Lord willing, Lord, the Lord keeps dealing with us to the end. And, you know, it's going to come out of nowhere, but it's not going to be nothing. Because when I see one not Aaron hit, I wasn't even a truth around the time. I'm like, damn, what the fuck? Never really. But once that thing hit, we're going to know, okay, this is it. And these people, they, yeah, this is prophecy. But these people ain't going to fucking know what to do, man. Right. Like, what the fuck? I might have to take the thing, man. And you got these other camps telling people that uh, they was telling people that MOTB is sin, sleep with white women, and, and et cetera, man. And these people not gonna know what that, what, they're not gonna know that that RFID Michael C is the MOTB, man, and end up giving into that shit, man. Right. Uh, grab this script. Let me let me see it real quick. Uh, thief. Uh, Second Peter uh, three. And nah, eight. not that one. Um, you brethren. Shall not be taken as a thief. Mm. Let me grab it. Yeah, right here. First Thessalonians five and two. Start at two. All right. First Thessalonians five and two. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. The day of Yahweh Shemi Shai. The ultimate day that everything's leading up to is the nuclear destruction of Mystery Babylon the Great. Okay, it tells you that in Revelation that this place, the, the, the whore that sitteth upon many waters, which is America, is going to be engulfed in flames, man. Fire is going to come upon her from the Almighty, man. This place is going to be wiped out, and that's the day of the Lord. And it's going to come as a thief in the night, okay? Even when the microchip rolls out, because people are still going to be buying and selling. Yep. There's still going to be uh, um, sorts of of goods there's not going to be as much we know the full storehouse is going to be found empty but there's going to be still some type of a business going on for the people that got the karagma okay and those people are going to be taken off guard they're going to be you know swiping their hand beep buying steaks buying whatever they can buy you know at an inflated rate you know they even think oh yeah we good everything's good you know they, they're getting it all figured out the economy yeah the dollar crash but we're getting it all figured out and then boom missiles gonna drop bro sirens 
Right. They're going to hear the sirens out of nowhere. You're going to hear the sirens. You're going to hear the sirens going off. And then you're going to look up. You know, you might get a, a broadcast on every news channel. Russia just shot ICBMs. You got 15 minutes till they hit. <laughs> you know. And what you going to do, man? Nothing. Well, you, if you if you take that thing, it's nothing you could do, bro. You're going to have to eat that nuclear missile. That's the only thing you you're going to be caught on fire. Yeah. That's the judgment. Revelation 14. Anybody who takes the mark of the beast. Which we go into it all the time. The mark of the beast is really a test. It's, it's the Lord's chip. Yep. And it's a test from Yahweh Bosh and Yahweh Shah, man. Yep. Okay? Time of testing. Time of great time of testing, man. Everybody about to be tested. We all about to be tested. All and all, all of our faith is going to be put on trial, man. Okay? You're going to be put on trial, man, to see if you really believe in this truth. You believe on Yahweh Bosh and Yahweh Shah, even some brothers unto death. And sisters. Yep. And children. Okay? Going to be tried unto death. Certain brothers going to be beheaded. All right? Go ahead, read it again. First Thessalonians 5 and 2. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Right. For when they shall say peace and safety, mm -hmm. then sudden destruction cometh upon them. Yeah, you know, and that's, that's it, it, it's repetitive. That's how Esau worked. He always say peace and safety, but so, right after he says peace and safety, some type of destruction, a pandemic, you know, uh, 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 the crash of the dollar. Hey, prime example, look at um, the C19. They told you to take that jump shot. All right, and what they told you, you know, you're going to be you're going to be safe. You're going to be protected from, you know, that that, that that sickness or whatever, man. And everybody thought it was good, man. Months later, people just suddenly um dropping dead. We dropped the why? What a what a coincidence. Dropping like flies. <laughs> but uh, hey, that that's the that's the the um, uh perverseness and the the ways of Esau eat him, the his subtility. Tactics. Yeah, his, his tactics. Yeah, peace and safety, peace and safety. It's but really, be all right. sudden destruction is coming. Okay? And that's what they're going to push when the economy collapse. When the whole economy collapse, they're going to push peace and safety by way of the chip. Yep. Just they're going to say, this. we'll give you $2,000. Peace and safety. You're going to get $2,000 a month. You know, you get a universal basic income. You don't got to work. Everything's going to be all right. We'll give and you then, a burger. Yeah, we'll give you <laughs> burger and fries. For free. And then... Next thing you know, missiles on the way. Sudden destruction coming. Okay, but go ahead. And you're gonna get plagued too, man. Um, Revelation 16 talks about that too. They had they had grievous sores. Mm -hmm. It says, um, as to fail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Not you're not going to escape. Go ahead. But ye brethren are not in darkness. But you brothers, man, you brothers of the faith, you brothers that dwell in heaven in the truth. You're not going to, you're not going to, uh, you know, be caught off guard, okay? You're not going to be taken as a thief because yep. you have the Holy Spirit, the Rekakwadash, where we are foreseeing what's coming. The prophets were before time called seers, okay? Which our brothers have had visions. We've seen visions. We've had dreams of this, the nuclear destruction of the chariots. We've had dreams of certain things, the, the mark of the beast, the beheadings. Some type of prophecies. Jacob's trouble. Yeah. Brothers have dreams of Jacob's trouble, Okay. So when it, when it all comes down, we're going to know what's going on. We're going to be all right. We gonna, everybody else going to be running around like chickens with their head cut off, not knowing what. And that's when the scriptures tell you, Isaiah, there should be a cry for wine in the streets. All right? People going to be wanting to seek answers, but by then it's going to be too late. All the prophets, they're going to be somewhere ducked off, safe. Having okay? abundance and bunkers. Right. We're gonna have, exactly. We're Why gonna have, I don't know what to do. Right. We're going to be off the internet. <laughs> you ain't going to be able to search up. The prophecies on the internet, on YouTube, no more. You ain't gonna be able to go to certain streets no more. Mm -hmm. Y'all, y'all, got a chance now, bro. All right, we're not gonna be here forever. Scripture says, "Um, night cometh when no man can work." You know, referring to when all our hell break loose, man. You think the Lord gonna have His prophets on the scene? You know, we telling you of Jacob's trouble, etc. It's gonna be there. The fuck we gonna fuck we gonna be out there for, man? <laughs> it's already it's right there. Ooh, I'm not even gonna read this. I'm just gonna put it on the put it on the screen. Okay, sixteen hundred or six hundred thousand per year dropping like flies from the the um jump shot. Yeah, the juicy juice. What a coincidence. Over thirteen million been deleted and still counting. The information comes from an insurance company. Woo! Come on, and now now all those those major corporations, they, they in trial, man. They took they asked the court, bro. Okay? Go ahead, though. I it says that that day. Read it from the top, that, that verse. Con, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 4. But ye brethren are not in darkness, 
that that day should overtake you as a thief. Yeah. So you brothers, in the faith, in the light, in the truth, this day ain't gonna overtake you as a thief because we waiting for this day. We watching, as well as praying, man. All right. Now, um, grab that scripture. Um, no more stay upon him. I got it. Isaiah ten and twenty, and it shall come to pass in that day. In what day? Jacob's trouble. When they crash the dollar, when they back everybody into a corner and say you got to take a microchip we, when we coming into that time where the karagma is going to come out man okay and, and that day what are we going to do go ahead that the remnant of israel and such as are escaped of the house of jacob so no more again stay upon him that smote them yeah what does it mean stay upon I mean to rely on yep. the one that smote us who smote us the, the edomites man and these other nations and too. these other nations yeah, he right but primarily yeah. who esau Primarily Esau, okay? We're not, because who are we staying upon, really? Who are we going to Esau. for the one of all things? Esau, Edom, okay? That's the curse, all and right? But, oh my but, God. Like it, but we're not, we're not going to stay upon you no more. We're not going to rely on you. We're not going to go to you for the one of all things. We're going to rely on the Lord, man. Go ahead, read it again. Khan says, um, Isaiah 10 and 20, and it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and Jacob so like and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, mm -hmm. but shall stay upon the Lord Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel in truth. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you know, there you go. And like you said, um, you know, mainly, um, primarily Esau Edom and self proclaimed white man, you know, we rely we relying on this devil. That's one of the curses spoken of Deuteronomy 28. You know, we go to the devil for the want and need of all things. You know, we want food, we go into Walmart. You know, co local Costco's, Target, etc. He owns all this shit, man. All right, but we come into a time, ain't gonna be no more going to Walmart every Friday. You know, doing your little Target runs and getting your Starbucks and shit. We gonna have to 100, 144 percent put our faith and trust in your how about shimmy I was shot, man. And you know, whoever those brothers are, the Lord's gonna have them protected, man. Gonna have that hedge over, and they gonna be good. Right. Scripture talks about how they're gonna have abundance, bro. That's why I said, that's why the scriptures talks about seven women's going to take hold of a, a one man. Scripture says, um, you shall have abundance. The, um, the heathen shall envy thee, but be able to, um, you know, do nothing. Roughly paraphrasing, but whoever these brethren are, they're going to be taken care of, man. Mm -hmm. That's what they're going to be doing. And why, why ain't they going to be at Walmart? Because you're going to have to have a chip to go to Walmart. Shit, Walmart might be a fucking a FEMA. FEMA camp. Yeah. I had a dream. I still, when I was staying in this one area, the local Walmart I was at, that shit was just empty out of nowhere, man. You know, but I personally believe they're going to turn these Walmarts into FEMA camps, man. Hey, well, they are. Well, yeah. Even even when you go into uh, Walmart, um, when you switch it up, it goes into uh, martial law, and you actually switch up the words on Walmart. But also, Walmarts are very, uh, the way they're set up, they're easily, they could take down a Walmart, like make it a whole... <laughs> Uh, um, just a, a empty building within like a, a couple hours, bro, an hour maybe. Get out of everything because they got they can just roll everything out. Do, do, do. See, and the next thing you know, it's a freaking camp. Okay, but anybody, you look, we coming into a time you're not gonna be able to go shopping no more. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you're not gonna be able to go shopping nowhere. Okay, because they're gonna say, look, if you don't got the karagma, you're not gonna be able to come into come in here, and you're gonna be an enemy of the state. Okay, there's gonna be a, a death penalty. And when you think about right now, not many people get the death penalty. You had to do some fucked up shit. You got to do some crazy shit. You gotta, so what kind of criminal are you going to be in that day? You're going to be a high level criminal if you don't take it because the, the penalty is death. So they're going to twist something. They're going to put something into effect where you're going to be an enemy of the state. That's where that persecution is going to kick that in. That persecution, you're going to, you know. <laughs> you're going to be the worst thing to ever exist, man. Literally. All you was doing was teaching the word. But we know. Let me know the scriptures, though, man. It's prof that's prophecy as well. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the times we're coming into. But go ahead. What you got? Um, We got enough for one more? I'll grab second. I just know if you still want Yeah, we can go on, Jack. It's 430. Yeah. All right, this is um, second Edris 9, starting in verse 1. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And that's what we do. And that's what you should be doing, too. You should be measuring the times, not living in la-la land. Talking about KFC and Popeyes, you know. And having debates on who's better out of Michael Jordan and fucking LeBron. Like, right. Foolishness, man. Bunch of nonsense. The bread and circus. You should be measuring the times that we live in, man. You should be watching. You should be seeing. You should be linking everything up with the scriptures, man. 
Okay, that's measuring the time. The tool for me when you measure something, you need a tool. You need a yeah. ruler. You need a tape measure. Okay, our, our spiritual ruler yeah, is the scriptures, scriptures, man. That's our spiritual tape measure. Okay, to measure the times that we're living in. Okay, the times that we in, and we're in the end times, man. Which, if you if you understood that, you would be getting your life right. You would be repenting. You would be, you know, putting away sins. You would be coming back to the ways of the Lord, making your body a living sacrifice, doing your lessons. Doing whatever you can do to please the Lord because really when you go into all the destruction that's coming, Jacob's trouble, the mark of the beast, it's all at the hands of the Lord. The Lord's doing this, bro. The Lord's bringing the death. Yep. All right? And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, that thou, Slaki, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And the Lord is already visiting the world where earthquakes storms hurricanes Tempest, devouring fires fires you got uh the love of many waxing cold lord putting demons on people just go into stores that and start shit is heavy right now shooting people up hey you got people always go into it you got people dismembering their family members and shit man. literally you had this girl and her mother they killed their own um, grandmother and dismembered her and threw her on the grill barbecue they said the neighbor ass. thought there was a barbecue going on Whole time it was a body on the grill, man. This the times we in, man. I saw another one where this and it's Eve. The scary part is it'd be, it be Eve. It'd be the so-called black woman, you know, doing barbecuing, barbecuing her grandma and barbecuing. They, there Their was another, babies and there, shit. yeah. There's another one where the single mother, some Eve demon, literally put her baby in an oven, bro. Sick, bro. They had another video of this other uh, Northern Kingdom Eve. She gave birth and she literally threw her baby in the trash can in the hospital. And then they found it. Said, hey, your your baby was in a trash can dead. You know? So this hey, the Lord is visiting this place in many ways. Oh yeah. Because remember the Lord said he kills and he makes alive, bro. So the signs in the heavens, the chariots, earthquakes, pestilence, everything, bro, is showing the Lord is about to come back. Okay. Yeah. So these are those birth pains. Okay? Go ahead. And I can add on where it says, um, you know, and when thou seest part of science past, which I've told thee before, which you could go into Matthew 24, you got the, um, you know, the situation when the Lord was telling the 12 disciples of the signs, you know, how we be in the end. All right, and we're seeing, we're seeing mostly all those things take place right now. The Lord is visiting this place, man. Mm -hmm. It says, verse three, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. All right, are we not seeing that, man? Every month, well, I ain't heard about an earthquake in a little minute. How you, there's an earthquake that happened today. Oh, shit. Yesterday. There you go. Every day there's Every, earthquakes. Every day. You can Google it. I, I guarantee you, you can, can you Google on the phone? How many, yeah. But just put, how many earthquakes happened today? I already know. There's been at least one. I'm sure it's in the hundreds, though. How much earthquakes have been going on recently? But how many earthquakes have happened today? Okay, I know there's been a thousand this year alone, okay? So right. said it'd be like 55 per day. 55 per day. What do you put? How many earthquakes happened today? Past 24 hours. Yeah. Right. Click on that one. Right here. Right here. Right here. 141 quakes. <laughs> today. Damn. Today there's been 141 earthquakes, man. And what happens in those um, you know, those type of earthquakes, man? You got a lot of judgment going out. And you got thousands people getting injured and thousands of people going to the spiritual room at one time bro all right we not in the end bro if you're not in i don't know what to tell y'all man if you can't understand that the lord really just want to destroy you man right and it says um an uproars of the people in the world and we seeing that now too man you can't go nowhere i be seeing this one person man on the back of their car it says joe ho gotta go all right you got people having rallies and protests and shit man you had back in Germany a while ago, they were spraying um, farm shit on the government, man. France. Oh, what happened here too? I, f I, I don't know if it was here or somewhere. The guy set himself on fire in front of the- Plant uh, City. Yup. Right oh, that was in Plant City? Oh, that right happened a while City. ago. But I'm talking about in front of the White House, I think. You oh, know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. God set himself on fire. Bro. <laughs> a whole bunch of shit going on, man. It says, thou sh then shalt thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Mm. All right, like I was going to, you could go into Matthew 24. It says, for like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Oh, and, and there you go. Everything, everything has an end. All right, we about to close out. 
All right, you, you watch a damn game. You got first quarter, fourth quarter, and you got Esau Eaters ruler shit, man. Lord gave him a beginning date, and you got an expiration date, man. The only thing that's not going to end is the kingdom of heaven. Yep. So, and the days of Israel. Yep. They're going to be ending. But all you other, all, hey, Esau's kingdom is coming to an end. Babylon's coming to an end, man. Got anything else? It says for like it, everything that's made in the world. Hmm. All right, all this, all this corruptible shit got to end, man. But, you know, we witnessing, right now we witnessing the downfall of, you know, Esau, Edom, the self-proclaimed white man's, you know, rulership, man. So, you know, you brothers keep pushing. You know, we got to get on more fire than ever, man. All right? That's pretty that's much it. it. You know? So, yeah, we're just flowing in the spirit, you know, measuring the times diligently. Watch as well as pray. It's big right now. Make sure you're sending your prayers up. Send your curses up on this place. So this place be destroyed soon. Okay? The Lord is hearing our prayers, man. That's for sure. The Lord is definitely hearing his men cry out, man. That's why everything's happening quick. We're going to be out of here soon, man. Yep. All right? So with that, call hello. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, Akash, Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone. Till next time, we say Shalom. Shalom.